the Saturday Boys Market so much? Well, it's because it's something that everyone in Fredericton comes out to to enjoy. And they have a variety of things. Like, I come here for the food, I'm not gonna lie. Like, those donuts so earlier, mm, I wish. Um, but no, I really like just how everyone comes out here. This happens every Saturday, even though it's really cold and snowy and like winter's happening. This still goes on all, every weekend, every Saturday anyways. And like, just the people who come out here, it's always like the same people selling and you can really have a strong sense of community here. So that's kind of why I love this market. But again, the food is just delicious. I've only actually just gotten to the store for the first time, but I had to check it out because it's kind of our local game store. Like, Gamezilla is, you know, an all-around thing, but we lost our metagames, which was what was here beforehand, but we got replaced with Comic Hunter, which is a little more local. Uh, and I figured I'd check it out. Listen, they've got comics, they've got board games, they've got Magic the Gathering, so I kind of have to like it. Uh, and no, it's great. The space is really open. The renovations they've done are amazing. Uh, and the floor is very clean. I don't know why that's what stood out to me, but they have a great selection of board games, which is what really gets me. Um, so no, if you have a chance, if you're in Fredericton and you want to check out like a local game store, definitely give Comic Hunter a try. outside of Fredericton's Waffle Station, which frankly is one of my like favorite places in Fredericton, like top tier. Uh, fun story is that two years ago when I was coming here for Anna Maritime, uh, I was supposed to stay somewhere. Those plans fell through. I was really sad because I'm like, well shoot, I have nowhere to stay. I won't go stay at the convention. And I was like sobbing. So my parents, who had been wandering around Fredericton beforehand, was like, okay, listen, we found this awesome place. We're doing really bad. We're going to take you here and cheer you up. And they brought me to the Waffle Station. And it's so, so good. It's in King's Place, so take a bus, you'll get here. Like, it's just everywhere. Um, and enjoy a waffle. Like, I'm actually going in now to eat a waffle. I won't be able to eat something at every place I visit today, but I'm eating a waffle here, so I will show you. Alright, so I decided to order the banana Nutella waffle. I was gonna get the sundae, but then I changed my mind just at the last minute. Um, I'm very excited about this. Uh, I haven't tried this particular one here yet, but I've had banana Nutella stuff before, so let's see. I'm not gonna sit. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here and make you watch me eat this, but just know that it is fantastic. And there's syrup here too. I've got the best. I'm just going to dread swaffle and we'll carry this on later. I wouldn't be able to eat everywhere I went, but I wanted footage of inside the restaurant and I felt bad leaving out buying something. So I bought a snack size poutine from Smoke Poutinery. Um, usually I'd get something a lot fancier, frankly for the size, sorry, the price for the snack size, I would just get a full size one. But, oh well, I just ate a waffle, I'm not that hungry. <laughs> but they have so many, so many good flavors of poutines here. Uh, and I have a wheat allergy, so I'm not supposed to eat gravy, No, I totally am, and I just ate a waffle. We don't talk about that. But anyways, they have so many poutines that have like different sauces, like a donier poutine, a butter chicken poutine, like uh, the hangover poutine with the syrup, that if you wanted it without gravy, it would be totally fine. Um, so yeah, this place is great. It's expensive, not gonna lie, but their poutines are so good. And if you're a Canadian, you gotta eat poutine. So cheers to that. Oh, I'm so excited. Now, lucky for my wallet, this place is not open yet, but <laughs> uh, it's called Delish. They do rolled ice cream, which is probably a trend you've seen on Facebook, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, I've come here once before and I really want to come back. They don't open till 2, again, thank god for my wallet. <laughs> but uh, it's, 
It's really fancy. It's fun to watch them make the ice cream and honestly it was really really good. I thought it was a bit overpriced but they give you a good chunk for what you're paying for and again it's delicious. They have a lot of different flavors to choose from so if you're ever in downtown Fredericton and you want to come find this place, uh, it's just walk down from Smokes. Like Smokes is over there somewhere maybe. There! There's Smokes. There's the poutine place that I just went to and then down here is Delish. Um, yeah, it took me a while to find it but when I did I was very glad I got to come down here and I will come again. Just Maybe not today because I'm full up on waffle and poutine, <laughs> but another time for sure. So yeah, check out Delish. So the lovely place behind me is the Clay Cafe. Uh, I've been to this one once, but I've been to a couple of others in the past, mostly for children's birthday parties, but still they're fun. Um, we went here last year actually with a group of friends just as a friend activity. Uh, I, some of them picked out mugs, I picked out a little like origami crane to paint, and it's actually it's just a really fun time. Uh, it's a great date idea, it's something different than you know just movie and dinner, I mean if they're into painting clay things I guess, but no, it really is a fun time. Uh, if you have a chance to come down here at least once during the year with your friends or with a date, uh, I would highly recommend it. They have so many different things in there to choose from for you to paint um, and they have like colors galore. Like this is really a place for you to express your creativity in any form you'd like besides actually like forming the clay thing yourself. They don't let you do that. You just get to paint it. But still it's a great time and I'd highly recommend you check out the Clay Cafe on Queen Street in downtown Fredericton. So behind me is Jay's Asian Kitchen. I've never actually been into the restaurant itself, but we have this thing called Skip the Dishes. You basically order food online, they'll deliver it to you. And I've ordered from these guys twice, uh, and it's so it's so good. I've gotten their pad thai and then their special, I think. Uh, the pad thai was amazing. The special, I probably wouldn't order again, but the, like it's up someone else's alley. It wasn't bad, it just wasn't quite the food for me. The pad thai was great though. And what I love especially, I don't know if they do this if you just go in, so definitely order from Skip the Dishes. But if you, when I order from them, they'd give you my meal, but then they in a tiny container, they just wrote a little thank you note for ordering, and then they gave me a free dessert. And it's just adorable, and I love it. And frankly, I will order from them again, and maybe sometime I'll actually even come to the restaurant, because their Asian food is delicious. Like, I want to try so much more of it, and I definitely will, and so should you. So I guess this place doesn't really count because it's closed now, but I had to give a shout out to what used to be in this building behind me. Uh, it used to be called the Owl's Nest Bookstore, and it was a huge used bookstore. Like you walk in thinking it's pretty small, but like it just keeps going and going and going. And then they had a second floor that also kept going and going and going. There were so many books in there, and I just loved it. The atmosphere of this place was wonderful. They even used to have a cat. I think he might have died because I didn't see him the last few times I went in there. But they used to have a cat and it was just great. I really do miss this bookstore. There's also a reading cafe that closed recently called Reads. We do still have one downtown, which is nice, but I miss the Owl's Nest bookstore very dearly. This place was like my favorite place in Fredericton I came to visit. So Owl's Nest, you will be missed. Now again, honest opinion, I've never been to Unplugged before, but I know what a board game cafe is, and I'm very glad we have one here. There's been talks of us going, but we a lot of us just had other plans. One day, I will go to Unplugged though, and also they have escape rooms. Look, I have done escape rooms, and they are fun. We almost failed, but we did it. Shh, let me call the connection with it, it's fine. Anyways, I'm very glad we have a board game cafe in Fredericton, because board games, as I mentioned earlier while I was in Comic Country, I love board games, and I need friends who will play them with me. I guess if I was really desperate, I could just come down here, there'd be somebody who'd let me play or who'd want to play with me. Um, you can get snacks while you're here, I think, as soon as you like, get in, the board games are basically free, there might be like a cover charge, um, you don't have to pay extra for snacks, but once you're in, you stay as long as you want, play as many board games as you want, they have such a variety out here. Um, and then, I'm not quite sure how the escape room fees work, I'm sure it's a separate thing, but the fact that you can do, again, have such a great time, great date idea, great friend idea, really, if you have a chance and you want something fun to do in downtown, come to Unplugged, I highly recommend it, and I will also check it out one day. <laughs> Now, I'm not a vegan or vegetarian myself, but I have eaten at the Abbey once, and I had their vegan pad thai, maybe just vegetarian, I think it was vegan pad thai, and it was really good. Um, so this is kind of like a minor shout out, because I probably wouldn't come here again just because I have a lot of other food options, but if you are a vegan or vegetarian and you're looking for tasty food, because I'm sure that's difficult, 
Um, that sounded really weird. I'm not, I, I meant just like it's hard to find vegan or vegetarian restaurants. If you're looking for one of those, I would recommend coming to the Abbey. Uh, I came down here because there was a poetry reading once, so like stuff like that happens here too. So it's actually a really cool place if you want to stop by. Um, they had, I think there's something else I even thought about trying. They have nachos in there. So like it's a small menu, but it's really well done. So I'm going to give them a minor shout out here. stop today in downtown Fredericton is this lovely convention center and theater behind me. Um, the main reason I love these places is because they host Anime Time, our yearly Fredericton anime convention, and frankly the spaces are just absolutely beautiful and I appreciate what they do and what they put up with so much. Um, the hotel across the street, the Crown Plaza, also hosts the convention, but it's main convention center that like sells me. It's so pretty and so clean and just so nice, and all of the convention center staff are lovely. Um, the Playhouse gets special shout out because that's where the Masquerade is held, which is probably the biggest event in Anime Time. Um, I also visited the Playhouse on other occasions for other theatrics. Uh, we went to see the Hypnotists there last year for Welcome Week. And like, it's a really nice theater as well. I mean, I'm even gonna shout out, I wish I knew what this building behind me was, but over there, they, so many anime time photo shoots, oh god, there's hair in my mouth, this is graceful. So many photo shoots are held in front of that building just cause it's so pretty. Um, careful though, not to like disturb the people inside like we did one year, Shh, that's also a secret. Um, no, there's just general area with the hotel, the convention, the theater, and then that lovely building over there deserves a big shout out for what they do every year. And frankly, like, I know so much more goes on in here, so I'm just gonna call them out for all the events they host, because they do such a great job at it, and I think they deserve some recognition. So, this is my last favorite place in downtown Fredericton. I really hope that you guys have, you know, a couple more places to check out if you haven't already. I know I like to come down here mostly when it's warmer. It's kind of chilly out and my hands are getting very cold while filming this, but I had to do it. I had to show you what I could. Gosh, there's so many more restaurants I could have pointed out. There's so many Asian restaurants here that I really want to try. Uh, I keep trying to check out this lunch cafe. It's always closed, but one day I will get in there and one day maybe I'll share it with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is one of my many Vlogmas videos. Uh, if you'd like to see more, subscribe, comment down below if you'd like to tell me what your favorite places in downtown Fredericton are or in your downtown area of wherever you live uh yeah and i will see you later so thank you for watching my hands are really cold but i can muster a thumbs up to you and i'll see you later